Welcome back. Like it or not, WSU is on the market for a new football head coach. This, like everything else, will be a drawn out process as I don't see a world in which a new head coach is hired until after the re regular season ends in December. Two things I want to get out of the way before we dive into my top five candidates. One, Jake Dicker will get a look if this team continues to win. And two, I don't see a world in which Alex Grinch comes back as he was a popular pick a few years ago, but the former WSU WSU DC did not return. All right, let's start with the hottest name today. Texas assistant head coach, special teams coordinator and tight ends head coach or tight ends coach Jeff Banks. According to the athletics Bruce Feldman, he said that there are some influential people in WSU's athletic department who are pushing for Banks. He's a WSU alum and an assistant and was a former assistant within the program. He's also highly regarded as a recruiter and also used to be on Alabama's staff. If you're a team in the Pac-12 who has an opening, you'd be a fool to a not do not at least pursue Oregon offensive coordinator Joe Moorhead. You'll see a picture. You'll see pictures of Moorhead in this uh, when he was at Mississippi State because he was the head coach there for two years. Who replaced him? You guessed it, Mike Leach. A few weeks ago, Moorhead wasn't present at Oregon's loss at Stanford due to needing a medical, needing emergency medical surgery. And his absence was absolutely felt as the Ducks fell to the Cardinal. Moorhead did have some disciplinary issues on his team at Mississippi State. That included a fight that broke out at practice that injured his starting quarterback so severely that he couldn't start in Mississippi State's bowl game. Ten players also missed eight games due to academic fraud involving a tutor. And now we will head into the Mountain West contingent. We'll start first with San Jose State's Brent Brennan. Brennan led a perennial bottom of the barrel program to the Mountain West title last season and was a finalist for the Arizona head coaching job last year. Brennan is just three and four this season, though, so that's something to keep an eye on. At the end of the end of the day, Brennan knows how to get a program with not as many resources to the top, and that is key in a place like Pullman. Our second Mountain West coach to keep tabs on is Kalen DeBoer. DeBoer is the head coach at Fresno State and had a big upset this year at UCLA. DeBoer, like Moorhead, is known for his brilliant offensive mind, and DeBoer, like Brennan, is a pro at overcoming circumstances. He began his career in the NAIA ranks and has been an offensive coordinator at Southern Illinois, Eastern Michigan, and Indiana. Hardly college football juggernauts. And finally, We'll turn to another school in the Mountain West, Nevada. Jay Norvell has had an excellent last two seasons for the Wolfpack and beat Boise State this season in Boise. He's 5-1 so far this year, with his lone loss being to Kansas State. Norvell is 58, so he may be looking for a place to settle down and make one last coaching stop. He's a vet in the coaching ranks as he's coached at places like Oklahoma, Texas, UCLA, Wisconsin, and Arizona State. I put Jay last for a reason because I personally know him. I used to cover him at Nevada uh, for his, his first year with the Wolfpack. It was a tough season. They didn't win a lot of games. Jay was always cordial. He was great with the media. And I, I know that being great with the media doesn't mean everything, but he's a nice guy and now he's winning. Um, so I don't know the others, but if I were a WSU fan and Jay Norvell ended up being my head coach, I'd be really, really happy. He's, I, Two thumbs up to Jay Norvell from me. There you it go. It seems like whoever they choose, they want some stability, right? Someone who's going to be here for longer than 11 games. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, another thing about Jay Norvell is that his offensive coordinator is yeah. Matt Mummy. He is the son of Hal Mummy, who invented the air raid. Obviously, oh, Mike Leach. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there's there's some there's some connections here in that aspect as well. Right. Sure, a lot of things are trying to move into place as we speak. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Goodness. Good insight, Brenna. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs>